Welcome to OpenSolar. Let's take a look at just how easy it is to get started with your OpenSolar index and get it connected to your Solar Search API in Drupal. Of course, as usual, you're going to have to be logged into your account and locate the Solar Control Panel button, which can be found can also be found on the front page, right here. So once you're in your um, Open Solar Control Panel, all you have to do is just click on the Add Index button and select your server add your index and go back to your index list. Now all, once we have our index added we have to click on the name which will take us to the index control panel and we have all these options in here. Now we're just going to go on into the Drupal Solar Search API module. We're going to have to download it. I already have it downloaded so it's right over here. And as you can see, once you download the Drupal module, it'll, it'll have a SolarConf folder, which contains the configuration that is necessary for more Solar versions. We have the 3, version 4, version 5. For this example, I have been using a server in Germany which runs Solar version 4.0. Therefore, when I go back, I'm going to have to upload the 4.x configuration files. Therefore, I have two options to do this. The config files editor, where I can edit each file individually, or the config files uploader. Now, in the config files editor, if I go to the schema.xml, I'm going to see this is the open source default schema. In the config files uploader, I'm going to have to select my archive that I've created that contains all of these files. You can do this by either using the WinRAR or whatever other kind of um, archive program you want. It, the file just has to be a valid zip archive. And it has to contain, as you see here, all of these files, right? all of the configuration files. Now, once this is in place, you can just go to choose the file select your archive and upload the file. After a while, we're going to see the message all files uploaded OK. Once you see this message, you should just go back and you should check if the files have been uploaded. Again, if we go to Config Files Editor and we select the schema.xml, we're going to see that the schema name now is Drupal. So the schema and all the other files have been updated. So there, there we have it. The index is now ready to go and use and connect to the Drupal instance and the Drupal is ready to send data to the index. As some of the key features in OpenSolar, of course you get a lot of these shortcuts for browsing HTTP, browsing data via HTTPS, via HTTP, uh, getting the error logs for debugging. Uh, you have the option to truncate your index, commit data, or optimize the entire index segments. In the security tab, you get the option to either restrict or allow certain IP addresses to connect to certain of your solarconfi.xml request handlers. These are solar request handlers that can be defined in your solarconfi.xml file. For example, if I wanted to restrict access to slash update so that nobody else can remove data or edit any kind of information from my index, I would just set up my IP address right here and select the slash update. If I wanted to remove a certain rule, I would just click on the X button here. And I also have the option to manage the HTTP authentication credentials. In case your Solar client knows how to communicate with the Solar Index via the HTTP authentication, you can always just set up a username and a password here, and you can click Save. And once you did this, in the index information, when you click on the Browse Data, you're going to be asked for the username and the password. So there you go. Now, no request handler can be reached without entering the username and the password. You can also remove the HTTP authentication whenever you feel like it. Also, in the Solar Admin panel, uh, in the Solar Admin tab, we get a link to the Solar Admin panel 
to this is the native solar administration area. If we click this link, we're going to go and we're going to see the actual solar admin panel. Where you get the option to perform a custom query, view the schema XML, view the solar config.xml, view the replication status, which is by default disabled, um, perform analysis on the index data, um, perform a browse on the schema and all the schema fields, even on the dynamically generated fields as well. You get to see the plugins, the solar plugins that are being loaded. And obviously you have the option to manage your data imports. And you can also see your data import configuration file, which is of course the, the OpenSolar default configuration. You can also edit that data import configuration via the config files editor. And you can connect to any kind of driver, MySQL, Oracle, or XML, HTTP, to import data into your index directly by using this interface. Config Files Uploader, we've seen it a little earlier. The load usage is going to show us how much traffic is the solar uh, server sending, your app, sending to your application per month. And this is measured in gigabytes. This is also known as the CPU load bandwidth when you, when you land on the pricing page in the customization you're going to see the CPU load bandwidth so this is the number of requests the the amount of requests that uh, request data that goes to your server in the search analytics you have the option to upgrade to analytics to the analytics package which is you can do do so by just checking this box whenever you want to upgrade your account this gives you access to a few interesting metrics about your index usage, like query volumes, uh, popular queries, recent queries, low queries, and etc. And uh, we're also actively working into adding more interesting metrics about your index usage to this page. In the index backup, you have the option to upgrade to a backup plan, which gives you the option to create and download um, the daily backups of your uh, data and configuration files as well. And there you go. The index is now created and you get the option to fully customize it any way you like. And um, the security is also in place. So everything is ready for you to get started. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for using OpenSolar. Bye.